This video is how I went about converting a biker's jacket into a backpack. So I received this jacket and I'm just checking it over seeing that there's some light damage on it but basically it's in good condition there are these metal magnesium parts which I may or may not use and yeah it's got plenty of potential and I'm looking forward to using this hump piece as a feature and it's some nice branding on it so I'm quite pleased with its potential I'm sure we'll be able to make something quite good now I've decided to go with a 28 centimeter width which will uh, be wide enough for that hump piece. So a pair of scissors make quick work of removing that back panel. And this is what it looks like. Um, there's a zippered piece here and inside is a sort of foam hump piece I guess for protection and streamlining. Uh, so I've removed that and uh, that's going to be an outer pouch. Just removing the lining. So I'm going to have the branding at the bottom just like that. It's just a matter of stitching it across. This is going to be the top piece, the top access zip. It's 12 centimeters in width by 28 centimeters. I'm using 1000 denier cordura for the side panel. We'll come back to that a bit later on. So I'm using my drill press with an 8 millimeter hole punch here to uh, make uh, um, holes for the zipper to go in for the outer pouch. just cutting away the unneeded sort of mesh piece there I'm going to be covering that with Cordura later just joining up those holes that I just made um, with a ruler and a box cutter so there's where the zipper will lie just a matter of stitching it in finishing off the loose ends Just stitching on that bottom branding piece. So I need to cut out a piece of Cordura. I'm using a French curve to get me that dimension and uh, using some double sided sticky tape just tack it in place and I'm going to stitch around that seam just there. So back to the side panel using the French curve again this is going to be where the zipper is going to be so I'm taking I think it's a 50 or 60 centimeter zip and cutting it to the length I need after making a chalk line just cutting it out and uh, for the first time I'm using this um, sticky tape stuff uh, just to stick back the, the the edges there so it will have a smart edge once it's stitched it's quite tricky to do this part you know getting the uh, zipper to go round that curve it's going in a way that it doesn't want to go so you've got to sort of force it a bit and then stitching it in I don't use pins, I use double sided tape. So I need it 12 centimeters top and bottom there. And then roughly cutting out the shape. It will be refined a bit later on because I need to make that curve piece um, the same length as the, uh, the actual body of the, the bag. So I'm going to remove this part from the 
these parts from the jacket. I'm going to use them. A small pocket here on the side and um, that's going to be the bottom of the bag or actually I use it later on for back of the uh, part of the back back rest back piece. So, as I said, um, I need to make that curved piece the same length as the main panel. So um, I'm just cutting it to that length. Stitching in the pocket on the side. And making another piece of cordura for the other side panel. So this is the top piece. I need to tidy that up a bit and remove the unnecessary parts and adding some cordura to make a nice finished top panel and finishing off the edges like that and that is 28 centimeters by 12 centimeters once finished yeah looking good I'm going to cover a piece of polypropylene, I think it is, for the handle. Now working on the other side panel, making a pocket out of Cordura, which just pops in. And then is stitched in, as you can see here. So I've salvaged these pieces. These are actually going to be the bottom. Just arranging the pieces. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with the way that appears. So I'm going to stitch that in. And using this Velcroed piece, I'm going to use that at the top of that side panel there to cover the zipper tabs. So I'm going to go around the edges here to uh, finish off that inside panel. Onto the padded back piece, I use this one centimeter thick uh, foam material, uh, which is sandwiched inside uh, two layers of uh, cordura, quilted like that. Here is a carabiner piece that I'm going to put on the inside, and that's the finished um, back part. Onto the straps, these are 50 millimeter seat belts, basically and I use some foam and wrap around some cordura which is 28 centimeters by 13 centimeters I just turn over the edges and stitch and then um, stitch alongside the seam as you see here just turn it inside out and it's ready to go just a matter of putting in the uh, the foam and the uh, seat belt just like that makes a very nice finished and comfortable strap just stitch it in top and bottom and that's ready so here are all the pieces ready for the final construction first I'm going to do the bottom piece then the side panels they're, they're stitched in now here's the top piece I've attached the handle and straps and I'm going around all the edges with this sort of mesh type sort of bias tape that I'm using So those are the panels and bottom in. Here's the top piece going in. And once the back panel is stitched in, it's just a matter of turning it inside out and seeing what we've got. I go over the seams two or three times to make sure that it's uh, well and firmly attached. And then it's done.